how the British Empire end up being drug dealer. So, in the 18th century, British Empire is major colonial power, and seeking new market for its product. Qing Dynasty, who's ruled China that time, on other hand was closed and have no interest trading with foreigner, but in the British East India Company, they began growing opium in India. British merchants smuggled opium into China in large quantities, despite the Qing government's ban on the drug. Opium was highly addictive, and the Chinese became addicted to it, leading to widespread social and health problems. However, the Qing government saw the opium trade as a threat to the health and well-being of its citizens and attempted to stop it by destroying shipments of the drug. British Empire responded by sending a fleet to China, and demanding compensation for the lost opium. The Qing dynasty refused to pay, and the British attacked Chinese naval and coastal defenses. Long story short, the British Empire win the war. The Qing dynasty were no match for the modern British Navy and suffered defeats. In 1842, they signed the Treaty of Nanking, which ended the war and gave Britain several concessions, including the island of Hong Kong, the opening of five ports for trade, and the establishment of extraterritoriality for British citizens in China. The opium trade was a major source of income for the British Empire in the 19th century. The profits from the opium trade helped fuel the British economy, and contributed to the growth of British colonial power in Asia. It is said the trade was so lucrative that it became a significant part of the British balance of payments, and British merchants were able to use their profits to buy Chinese goods such as tea and silk. But, in the 1850s, tensions between Britain and Qing dynasty rose again, as the Qing government tried to crack down on the illegal opium trade. In 1856, Qing officials boarded a British registered ship, the Arrow, and arrest its crew in search of suspected pirates. The British saw this as a violation of their treaty rights and declared war. This war also called Arrow War. This time, Qing Dynasty fought an alliance of Western powers, including Britain, France, the United States, and Russia. They captured Beijing in 1860, and burn it. The Qing Dynasty was forced to sign the Treaty of Tianjin, which gave even more concessions to the Western powers, including the legalization of opium, and the opening of more ports to foreign trade. So, in short, the British Empire became involved in the opium trade and ultimately fought in the Opium War due to its desire for profits and trade advantages with China. The Opium War marked a turning point in Chinese history as it exposed the weakness of the Qing dynasty and paved the way for foreign intervention and colonization. It also had a significant impact on global trade, as China was forced to open its doors to foreign goods. The Opium War is still remembered in China as a symbol of national humiliation and Western imperialism till this day.